care of our friends and our grapplers because y'all it is hard out there for a pimp sure is all right it's fun too though it's fun too. nobody made a song called it's fun out there for a pimp i don't think it would have done as well or won an oscar i'd be on that track oh, wow. oh. Oh, yeah, little, there's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Absolutely. No, I feel you, bro. I'm on the same boat. I'm, I'm on that. If I walk out, y'all better be clapping for me. He was expecting a little more. I it's mean, all right. I, I, listen, dude. It is hard to win over the crowd before you do the jiu-jitsu. That's true. Normally, they clap after they see something they like. And yeah. even then, sometimes they murder themselves, and the crowd goes, eh. <laughs> I've seen better leg locks. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, there we go. Can I tell you, Please. I almost forgot that Please. Barrett Yoshida was on this card. Yes, one the of the goats. I'm going to stand for Barrett Please personally. do. Please do. Hey, y'all should stand up for Barrett Yoshida, you Here's yo. what people don't understand. Y'all should stand up for Barrett Yoshida, y'all. Barrett has been in the game for so long. One of the oest of G's. Bro, I get goosebumps when I think about Barrett Yoshida coming out here at his age, oh still doing God. his thing. Yeah, absolutely. The amount of respect that he's earned in this sport is unmatched. And if it is matched, it's by somebody in the Gracie family. <laughs> yeah. This man has done it all, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking one of the earliest ADCC competitors. Yes. He has a submission victory over Megaton Diaz. I mean, I could uh, I could talk all day about Barry Yoshida. I actually have had many matches with him. And uh, he is just a world-class competitor. An amazing, an amazing just role model in our sport. And Barry Yoshida, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. This crowd should be standing if you ask me. Uh, Barrett Yoshida, goddammit. You know? Yeah, you know, look at this. Not even a second wasted. Barrett Yoshida. One of my favorite grapplers as a kid. I watched him. I got to grow up and end up having matches with him. Yeah, Barrett. Fighting out of the blue corner. I think this is yes. Standing ovation there for Barrett. Just want well to deserved. Remind people. Wow. Well deserved. Only person. Barrett Ten jumps in right away. Down. Already in on an armbar possible <laughs> triangle here. Yeah. Pulling on the head. Barrett with that closed guard. You've competed against him. Tell me a little bit about that guard. I've matched against Barrett three times. I've had the privilege and honor to roll with Barrett. And it's just always dangerous. Mm -hmm. You're never not in danger. Mm -hmm. Everything he does has a element of attack to it yeah there's always a submission behind any position you're in with barrett yeah and of course he's world known for his crucifix <sighs> submissions setups that have even been passed down to his students yes you get the sergio guard which is like the next evolution of that yes he calls it rubber side mount <laughs> sergio hernandez sergio is amazing tattoo artist oh, in San Diego. absolutely i have a whole sleeve from him <laughs> shout Barrett out to them with that with that tomanage sweep mm -hmm. there oh. already in, already advancing through on a knee slice here his opponent's done a good job mm -hmm. of lacing that shin across there to defend barrett with the right arm lacing for that weave pass okay. falling back on a leg lock here though roth yeah. Let's see if Barrett can pull this leg lock submission off. I mean, it, it's... He's called the finisher. His his nickname is the finisher. <laughs> what an amazing... That's probably the coolest, top three coolest nicknames in the game. I have to agree with you. And I mean, when you're a legend, you don't have to do anything anymore. You just have to exist. But yet, here he is, existing for us to watch him compete still. Yeah, there's a lot of people like me that retired and won't compete anymore. 
and Barrett is not one of them. He could care less about any of his injuries or back pain. He just wants to do jujitsu, and that's why Barrett will always be a fan favorite and a legend in mm-hmm. this sport. He will always take on younger dudes coming up in the game, has no fear of, you know, losing losing face. Mm-hmm. There's none of that with Barrett Yoshida. I'm quite convinced Barrett's going to be 90 years old and still challenging people. Of course. And you're going to be lucky to see it. Of course. Elevation. Going for that ashi, that leg reap there. <laughs> the guy jumps over. Barrett's staying in on All that right. straight foot lock. This is, this is not just workable. This is... What's his opponent's name? Uh, it is right here. Takahiro Yoshika. Yo Shoka. Yoshi- My apologies. S- how do you say it? Uh, I know it's Takahito. Uh, Takahito. Takahito. Takahito's done a good job, man. Yeah. You know, uh, if somebody has experienced this Barrett. He should have already been tapped out, you know? Yeah. To go this far with Barrett's already an accomplishment in his career. <laughs> this guy gets to go nice. home and say, yo, I win against Barrett Yoshida, dog. You could see right at the beginning, he also, as we were standing up uh, for Barrett, he immediately goes over, shakes Barrett's hand. Respect is there. Beautiful. The match is different, though. Beautiful. The match, you still have your opportunity to do your thing, and you're still kicking Oh, lost. my gosh. Barrett in on a, a triangle legend. here. Yep. Very few people get out of Barrett's triangles. What a good escape there. I was about to say, please don't slam Barrett. Yeah. <laughs> Barrett won't let him get sucked <laughs> Absolutely. The referee throws the belt. Forget yep. that belt, man. Let's go. Barrett's also like, I don't, I've got Oh, Barrett jumps on that close guard, takes uh, a slam. No big deal. Takes another two. one. Two. Two starts to be something. Yeah. Barrett right. closing guard, though. All right. Let's see. Barrett has a very good We're close at 219 guard. 219 left in the match right now, just to let you guys know. It's a lot of time. It's a it lot is. of time. Barrett with the hook. Doesn't quite off balance him yet, but it does show you that he is thinking sweep. All right, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> I'm intrigued to figure out if he's going to continue breaking down the posture. Of course, yeah, that's it. that's a big part of using closed guard. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're on bottom, you break the posture. If you're on top, you use the posture. Yeah. And uh, let's see who, who gets the advantage on this game here. Bear it with that cross collar. Always going to help you easy, um, make it easy to break posture down when you can get a cross yep. collar. <sighs> nice slide there. Maybe thought. About X for a split second, but now Takahito doing a good mm-hmm. job here, staying on top of Barrett's guard, not getting swept, not walking in submissions. You know, the man is a black belt himself, Absolutely. of course. He's experienced. You don't just get black belts in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for nothing. But again, I mean, it, it's a nice respect of his patience as well. Like Takahito taking a moment to say, don't go over things that will be dumb take yeah. your time because you might have an opportunity that opens up to you yes imagine if this guy goes home with a victory over Barry oh. Yoshida tonight I mean what an opportunity I man. would never shut up about it you know what I'm saying I'm gonna be real honest what an amazing opportunity this guy has right now to, to beat one of you know one of the top 20 legends in our mm-hmm. sport here representing the United States of America. Oh, but look at the Yoshida. space, the space that he is creating. Yeah. Stretching him out. Oh, it takes a little slam there. Yep, but with good reason because now trying to come in on the triangle one more time, maybe making that last effort in the last 23 seconds. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, <laughs> Barrett taking a few. You know, no, none of us like to see that, but it is what it is. I mean, it, it's the rule. It's what you're supposed to do. I mean, but you know what? <laughs> It they're it approaching it now like it's an amusement park ride at this point. You can't bother, Barrett. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. What do we have here? And just to oh, the match ends. An exclamation mark on the regulation. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. Barrett's so. definitely going to win that. Submission yeah. attempts. Um, submission attempts definitely are going to go yes. to Barrett on that. You know what's great is when you're already a legend like him, all of this, the resume doesn't need any more. There's no more room on the resume. And yet you just keep putting more work. That's it. Who does he need to convince? Me? You? Anybody else? 
recorded. Eric Oshida takes home the victory tonight. His opponent's a little bothered by that. He's confused. He's like, how did that happen? It, I mean, again, I, it might be uh, him trying to figure out he was trying to pass more traditional and, and trying to be in the guard and trying to uh, make more of the response of getting out of those. The unfortunate part is, in this, we do favor more submission attempts. Yep. So... Yoshida is the champion. It's hard to say. It was a tough match. He definitely didn't submit or extremely dominate his opponent, but he did win. And congratulations to Barry Yoshida on another title here tonight. <laughs> Amongst <laughs> many, many other accomplishments. A switch? I mean, yes. All right, ladies and gents. I'm going to tell you very quickly about how I can multitask. I am literally taking a photo of Pete the Greek, Lover, and Barrett Yoshida while also still commentating for your pleasure. And I'll even show you that I can do more than just that and multitask. I'll remind you guys, love the sponsors, YM 